What's going on, everyone? I hope that you're doing well and staying safe as usual. So, the podcast that I had mentioned on my 700 sub video, I officially shot, shot the first video today with my friend Monospite. Uh, he's a Twitch streamer, and we had a really good discussion just about various Dead Cells related things. So, I'm going to be posting it up on YouTube. It's going to be played over a run. Um, and I'm kind of trying to figure out do I want the video in there? Do I just want the audio? So we're just gonna figure I'm just gonna figure all that stuff out But the, the podcast is gonna be called the chaos and chill cells cast got that alliteration kind of alliteration in there um, And it is named after the series that we are continuing today We have part three of the chaos and chill series, which is featuring my good friend The swift sword one of my favorite weapons in the entire game and the Swift Sword is a very chaotic weapon because you got to be moving fast constantly. Absolutely love this weapon with a passion. It is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated weapons in the game. I think people are a little too focused on the fact that it doesn't do amazing damage against bosses. But you can always work around that. Like, I just had a tentacle win where it were... Actually, that's going to be the run that um, this entire podcast is going to be played over. And it, it was awesome. Like, I had a really good time with that okay these inquisitors need to stop but i had a really good time with that run i had a really good time with the podcast so i'm gonna give you guys more details uh over the next couple days i'll probably put out another video talking about it um and then we'll just go from there i like i said i'm just really excited for this um but swift sword's a really cool weapon so it's very easy to get speed buffs in this game all you need to do is just kill a few enemies in a row like, you need to kill, like, five enemies in a short amount of span, which, considering the prevalence of mobs in this game, it's very, very easy to do that. So, I'm going to be taking velocity with this just to maintain my speed. And the crits become very powerful. Damn it. I kind of, I messed that one up a little bit. That's fine. We'll still get the 60. I'm not that worried. Or the 30. Hopefully. There's a lot of enemies in prisoner quarters now, so there's more than ample opportunities to be able to get that get it. Plan is we're going through tick today. I think that should be fun. And yeah. Hope you guys are well though. Uh come on. Nice. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Um, staying safe as usual. Um, but the podcast is really just gonna be me and whoever wants to join, talk about various things in dead cells whether we talk about 1.9 whether we talk about our frustration um different emotional elements within the game like what the game does for us oh i barely got that parry off wow that's that parry set was awesome that was great um but we just talk about a lot of different things um i'm just i'm really really excited for it um, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Just me and someone else just talking about various things. Just super freeform. Um, I, another thing I might do is just like, you know, we might do like a run analysis in the future. I have like a whole backlog of runs that I don't post on here. Believe it or not, not everything I do on this channel makes it to the, uh, not everything I record makes it to the channel. For various reasons. Like, one of the reasons is that I don't like the run or the commentary is really bad. And that happens, you know. So, I just kind of do my thing with this. And, uh, you know, hope for the best with the commentary. Um, but, you know, I'm still learning how to do this. I've only had this channel for a few months, so. Come on. Uh, yeah, we parry. One, two, three. Got it. Okay, good. Uh, will I have enough for the 30? I have six enemies left. Oh, shit. All right, good. That was kind of a scary mob. Yeah, two knife throwers. I didn't even see that one. He was straight up invisible. Um, there should be three more enemies. I haven't even explored toxic sewers yet. But I think you guys are going to really like it. At least I hope you guys do. I mean, if you don't, you don't. I can't do anything about it. All right, where are you at? Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, yeah, we're going dilapidated. I went the Tuxedo's route last time. That was a lot of fun. 
Um, the tentacle one, you guys are going to like it. You, um, if it doesn't really fit over the podcast, I am going to do a clipped run analysis of it. I might even do a full run analysis. Like, there's so much controlled chaos in that entire build. Like, I had a blast running it. Like, I seriously had a blast. Like, it was one of the most fun builds that I've run in a, in a while. Well, the War Javelin run was pretty good, too. Um, I don't know when I'm posting some of these, so... Um, it's really just going to depend on how I'm feeling and things like that. We'll rock a fire brands to start. Man, the thunderstorms are crazy today. I wanted to go to the gym, but then I saw the rain. And then the podcast was going. I was just like, ah, we'll just do this later. Uh, let's go velocity first. That's fine. I'm not changing mutations again until, like the very end of the game so i'm not that worried like when we hit the 5bc spoiler area into the 5bc boss then i'm going to um change my mutation so the thousand wasting is not that big of a deal oh i get i don't have a shield i gotta remember that whoa shit he can climb over that i forgot Wow, this mob's kind of crazy to start. Okay. Hold on, guys. Hold on. started going off for some reason and that's weird because i did not even turn it on is my apartment haunted Ooh. one two three nice yeah that was weird i just started hearing and i was like what the hell that was very bizarre Well, at least they're keep at least the buyers are keeping them occupied. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll replace this. I don't get me wrong; I love the fire grenade, but um, the biters are gonna cost me at some point, so I'd rather not take it. Biters kind of mess up your timing sometimes. That's really all there is to it. It's not it's not overly complicated why I don't take biters because enemies will just start attacking out of nowhere. I take biters in end game because end game it doesn't really matter. Because in High Peak Castle and the 5BC spoiler area, it doesn't exactly matter, like, what they, um, do. Because there's just, High Peak Castle, the construction of the level is, like, um, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, Magnetic Grenade can come into handy, especially when there's a lot of flying enemies. There's a lot of small enemies kind of gathered, so I can just throw it. I threw it right here very intentionally. Also, I jumped on this platform very intentionally so that the uh, Impaler would uh, get tricked into uh, doing its thing on that pla that particular platform. So I can come here and just beat it up. At least I think that's what happened. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Anyways, let's go. Nice. Alright. Alright, uh, what, what can we take here? Carbine? I do like the carbine, but ooh, yeah. Let's go with that. You don't always need to roll against enemies. Sometimes it's better to jump over things. Like Inquisitors, I jump over those attacks frequently because... 
it just makes my life so much easier instead of having to roll. Because now my roll will be saved for something else. Because your rolls have a cooldown. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. The best thing about this affix is that poison has propagation now. So um, it'll spread. Alright, the damage is really starting to get there. And yeah, see, so you can see this poison spread even though I only hit two of the enemies. Right, and you should be dead. So we can kind of run this damage over time thing. I'm good with this. So the reason I did that was like, I, I knew that the uh, Yeter was kind of coming over here. And they weren't exactly in the spot yet, but they were coming. So I was just like, I'll just make an extra jump and then do the down smash and it should be fine. And it worked out. Okay. Now we got... Oh, okay, nothing in here. I did get the 60 though, which was nice. Alright, so we gotta keep trudging on over to the left. And... Where do I go? Okay, I have to go up. Alright, we got the velocity going, so we're going fast, we're going fast. That was weird. So you can see, like, this damage is very, very quick because of the Hakuto's bow. Um, makes my life way easier. And I can just one-shot these eaters, because I did not have any stats in this level. I hadn't gotten any scrolls in my favor. Where are you? Oh, that's going to be nice to have. Alright. Uh, let's wait. I barely got out of the way. I, that was super, super, super close. So let's not do that again. So, Magnetic Grenade works extremely well with the Kudos Bow. Um, just electricity damage plus grouping enemies together, doing small, small amounts of damage. It works very, very nicely. Nice. Dual stats go in my favor. Oh, I barely avoided everything, but I finally got hit there. Yeah, that's not that that's fine. I kind of expected that. There were two enemies and one of them I didn't even see. Alright, so sometimes you just gotta roll around and be a little bit crazy when dealing with enemies like that. Come on. Alright. Assassin's Dagger, nah. I haven't used Assassin's Dagger in a minute, though. I think that's going to be one of my next runs. And so you're going to see all these enemies die up here very, very, very quickly. Okay, good. I'm pretty good on health. I have a 50% infected monsters I fi if I need it. Probably won't, but... Um, in the case that I don't take any damage, then, um, no need to, um, do anything from here on in. So, you, you can see, like, right there, the, the poison spread is just phenomenal. And then all of you guys are gonna die. So, having a Hukuto's Bow with poison is really helpful. Like, it just makes my life so much easier. Which is why, I mean, I don't always take it, and I do think the Carbine will be better at some point during the run, but especially early game when you're not doing a lot of damage, stuff like this is extremely useful. So it was a lot of good RNG right there that I was able to get at that moment. All right. All right. Good. Barely got out of that. Nice. Ah. 
I kind of messed up on that a little bit. That's fine. Ah, uh, we can see what's going on here. But I gotta do this quickly. No. Burning and bleeding? Yeah, we can take that. I'm taking open wounds as my next mutation. Good, we still have the velocity. Velocity increases your speed duration by uh, three times, which is very useful, especially since we're kind of running a pseudo dot build right now. Yeah, so Magnetic Grenade again just works absolutely amazingly yeah, with the Kudos bow. Alright, we still have a fair amount left, so let's finish all this out. Luckily, we did get a... Oh. Are there any more? I, I just knew something was going to hit me, but that's fine. That's no biggie. I probably shouldn't have gone and taken that, but I was just like, hmm, maybe something drops. You never know. That's why I try to kill almost every enemy in there. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to do it, but for the most part, I, I really try in earnest to do it. <sighs> yeah, I'll take that. The reason you save money in Prisoner Quarters is so you can grab a bunch of shit later on. That's honest. That's the honest to God reason. And you're dead. And one of the things about just my general fast style of play is that I don't end up seeing a lot of challenge rips, so I miss them a lot. So there's nothing I can really do about that unless they change the color of the challenge rips, which I think they should honestly do, but um, I'm not going to bother with this. No need to. If I end up dying, it's because I take a lot of damage against an enemy, but it's whatever. But we have to be careful about the curse on the next uh, biome. We talk a lot about the two-handed weapons in the podcast, like, just kind of theorizing new ones and stuff like that. It should be fun. Oh, you should have kept that. I don't know what I was thinking. I was being a little bit too quick there. That's fine. I'm not taking... I'm not keeping that forever. Alright, so, in Prison Depth, something I like to do is use my Homunculus Rune, or, you know, pre you press the right trigger button... Uh, or whatever it is on your controller, whatever the layout is. Um, and I like to see if there's enemies up ahead. Because sometimes there's a knife thrower and I can't see it. So here there won't be any. Because the teleporter's right there. But sometimes there are. And you gotta be very mindful of that. Oh, that could have been bad. Alright, we'll just wait. And one, two. That should kill very quickly. Nice. Nice. And now, now we can get going with this. Really? Just kind of ran over that. I like to keep my distance from those so I can uh, have a better roll when I need it. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. We're moving. And so this works very nicely with the bleeding. So that's why I really like taking open wounds on this build. You have a little more time to roll than you may think. Ah, I kind of messed that up a little bit, but it's fine. I was able to get more residual damage off. I was trying to hit him off the ledge. Okay. Let's be a little bit careful about this. Alright, what do we got? Um, I do need to take a cleaver. So I'll take that instead of that. And then we'll re... 
we'll get something when we're in uh whatever that level is more ass one two yeah we're doing the damage now I kind of messed up on there but I was able to adapt adapting is a big part of this game like you can mess up like you don't have to be perfect on 5bc like that's kind of a myth that some people tend to uh, succumb to sometimes you legitimately do not have to be perfect in this game especially if you know how to mitigate mistakes Mmm, this is not good. Alright. Again, it's all about adapting, so it's not too big of a deal, like, when something doesn't go your way. Chaos and chill, y'all. Chaos and chill. That's the name of the podcast, that's what this run's all about. One, two, three. All right, I gotta use my skills on these because these—that's a tough elite to handle. Okay, good. One, two, three. All right. Well, you should die. Where was I even trying to shoot that arrow? Alright, I'm just gonna let that drop and then you can end up dying. Um, I'm playing well so far. Two, three, one, okay. I like to just count off my crits so I just know where I am in the combo. One, two, three, there we go. Again, it's just all about timing. So I'll, I'll explain a little bit about my mutations now that we've cleared this level. Um, I'm not going to take anything. Right now, everything I have is fine. I don't need to take anything until we're in Moras. At which point I'll replace whatever with the... Uh, I'll replace the Flame Turret with literally anything. Alright, let's check for Challenge Rifts. I didn't see any. Luckily, we still have Velocity on for a little bit, so I can just kind of speed through it. So, with, in terms of mutations, Velocity is obviously the number one with this build because, you know, you want to maintain speed as much as you can. Um, the key to this build is either you run a shield or you, um, and parry, like, literally everything you can. Or the other thing that you do is take something that can, um, accentuate your damage a little bit. So, something like a Carbine or a Hakuto's Bow in this case. Um, in, and this, in this case, I did get lucky with the poison on the Hakuto's Bow. Chances are you'll find something like that, though. Just find something with a really good affix in your run. Especially if you have, like, 100% S items unlocked. S meaning, like, the forge. So you're, you're going to definitely find something at some point. And so, in terms of this build, Swift Sword doesn't have an amazing base DP, DPS, but it has a passable base DPS. And that's what we're looking for here. Something that's passable uh, so that we can um, be able to really do some damage against the bosses. And that's the other thing, is uh, you have to prepare for the bosses with this build. With other builds, um, you don't necessarily always have to do that, although it's a good practice to do it. But with this build especially, because you don't have the best base DPS for bosses, there are ways to mitigate it and get crits on um, bosses, but um, there are few and far between. And when we get to um, certain bosses in this game, I will show you, especially the last uh, two bosses, in Hand of the King and the 5BC Spoiler Boss, Like I will show you guys. Um, how to get those crits. It's uh, it's a little more convoluted than you might think. And it also involves doing something that you normally would not do. So, okay, I didn't see anything. Alright, Moras, let's go. I almost went to Ossuary. Alright, last mutation I'm thinking... Um, probably Berserker. Just generic. It's a little safer. So I'm setting that 8, but the thing is that I, I only have 1 in my amulet. And so if I have 8 at that point, I'm, just, I'm doing fine. The goal is to get to around 14 by the end of this, which I should be able to. 
Damn it, I knew he was gonna hit me. Damn it. Uh, I'm just... It's, it's tough to get it going against this one, but luckily I didn't get hit too badly. You just gotta be careful. And stuff like that's gonna help. Okay, come on. Alright, multiple knocks. That's interesting, but I'm gonna say no. Yeah, so the poison spread is very beneficial for this uh, sort of build. That's why like, I, can, I can even take a carbine later on. Yeah, at this level I tend to get off to a slow start a little bit. As long as I don't take, as long as I can get some decent power by the time I get to a uh, giant tick, I should be okay for the most part. All right, let's just wait. I'm surprised that they even hit me. They have a weird hitbox. Sorry, as long as we find some healing soon, I'll be fine. I'm not that worried at the moment. Yeah, it's right there. So I'll just pop in here and grab it. And there's no enemies in here too, which is nice. Alright, good. We're back to 81. I ain't tripping. Yeah, the more us, the banished tend to give me some trouble sometimes. Especially on melee builds. Because, again, they just have such a bad hitbox. It can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. But anyways, curse time. Let's see what we can get here. Um, not taking that. I almost chose uh, tactics just out of pure instinct from the last one. Right, good. That was close. But we got it. One, two, three. It's this fucking masker that's ruining everything. Alright, good. Where are you? Good. Alright, awesome. And then we have that elite down there. So let's go handle that. I did not think I was getting hit there. Oh, what's this one? Nah. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. We'll be okay. I'm not that worried. I definitely needed to heal there. That was a little crazy though, don't you think? Alright, I, I need a dual stat scroll, which I'm gonna get in a little bit, so should be fine. Maskers have been kind of messing me up a little bit. And Banish just always tend to mess me up. Good. I almost, I almost didn't choose that.
But we have more power now. Beautiful. Okay, what are we what can we get here? Nothing so far. Wow, they just give me all the fire ones? Yeah, this is the one. Bleeding causes poisoning is a phenomenal um, skill. And in, in, in fact, I had that on both of my skills last time. I ran Crows of Cloud and Knife Dance with my tentacle. I can just break this one. I'm close to the 60, which is nice. But I do have to beat this giant tech without taking any hits. That's going to be tricky. That's... Ugh, I have such a hard time with this one. Giant tick just causes a lot of problems. Alright. And I think we might have one more elite, I want to say. Alright, nothing there. Alright, at least we got rid of that. Good. Anything else that we need to do while we're in here? Nope. Okay, let's get out of here. That could have gone a little better, but it's fine. I'm not that worried. We'll be okay. At least want to get a speed buff for a little bit while we're here. We won't get it forever, but, you know, it'd be nice to get it at least for a small portion of this level. It's a pretty sick outfit that I have on, though. Okay, good. Good, we got them both. It's only two that hit on one side, so. Okay. Oh, this is bad. All right, good. Got, got a fair amount of damage off. And then we can drop the cleaver again. Yes! We got the no hit. Awesome. Awesome. Really, really good fight. I was kind of locked in from the second. Because I was like, okay, look. like We got kind of bodied and more ass versus an enemy that I'm terrible at dealing with. So, um, luckily we were able to do it. We were fine. And we can move on. So, uh, next we're going to Graveyard, and then we're going to Cavern, because Chaos and Chill always has Caverns. Always, no exceptions. Unless I didn't do Caverns in one of them, but I'm pretty sure I did Caverns in all of them. Now, how we get to Cavern, I don't know. But we are doing, but we did Tick today, so... Let's see what we can get from this. I'm curious if we get like a poisons the enemy, that can be really useful. Just trying to avoid the stupid biters. That works. Wait, is this biters still? No. Okay. The idea of a magnetic grenade sounds really good in my head. Alright, we have two main objectives in Graveyard. One is to pick up the Monster's Eye in the food shop, and the other is to clear out the curse, as always. That's our two objectives here. How we got there, 
I don't know, but... Um, we don't need to buy anything in this level, additionally, because we're okay on damage. We're actually pretty good on damage. We're at 15, I believe, right now? 16. Yeah, so I fought Tick at 15. That's why I was able to do a good amount of damage. Yeah, cannibals are going to be tough until I get the uh, uh, crits on this uh, weapon. Okay. Phaser? Ugh, phaser doesn't work on this level. Nice. Now we've gotten our crits. We're set. Alright. That, that takes a little weird movement, but we're able to do it. That was a little bizarre. I don't typically like moving around like that. Good. One, two, good. Got the key right out of the way. This can be often a very challenging experience in getting that key. Let's see if we can also pick up a swift sword with, uh, actually we don't need to even bother with the swift sword until we get to cavern. I, of course, we've got to clear out the curse first. I like to aggro these, uh, um, catchers. Makes my life a little bit easier. Alright. Damn it. Come on. Alright, get rid of all these rats. out of here all right it's going well so far no enemies like the giant tick that are very difficult all right good good and one more set of enemies and that should be good there it is All right, and the other thing that we have to do is uh, clear out the spike pits. So there are three on the bottom. Uh, we passed them all up top, but we've got to clear them all on the bottom. And I think this is where we say goodbye to the Hokuto's bow. Burning oil. I think this is where we say goodbye to it. I'd rather have infinite ammo than two ammo. Plus, I can get those toxic spreads a little more intentionally. Yeah, this is going to work out for the better. I'm very confident in this now. beautiful all right i'll come back here later i don't need to do this right now i need to keep up my velocity there's a part at the end where you can just grab some items if you have the uh, merchandise category unlocked okay the masker is kind of bothering me right now okay it's down here all right good Nasco is really giving me some problems there. Good. Okay. See what's in here. If there's enemies, then we can come back. Nope. Cells are. There's nothing to spell cells on in 5 BC. Barely got it off. Definitely needed a little bit of health here. All right, um, we'll come back later. All right, that's the first spike pit. All 
Mm -mm. Sometimes you just gotta manipulate the uh, Inquisitor movement. That's really all there is to it. There's, it's not overly complicated. All right, that's the second spike pit, which is good. Spike pits are kind of tough when you're running velocity, so that's why I'm trying to get them cleared out before I um, take the curse in this level. All right, we can come back here for the curse. That's what I'm thinking. All right, this is the cavern exit. All right, well, there's no teleporter here, unfortunately. I need to find some enemies soon. There right, should be some over here. I need to pick up my speed a little bit. Nope. I lost it. I lost the speed. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's see what we get. Nothing... See, I don't need a level 9 with just bleeding. Bleeding and poisoning would be nice. Or bleeding, burning oil. Just some sort of way to get that extra bit of damage that I need on this build. Alright, that's the last spike pit. Curse is right here. Alright, good. We should be getting our speed in just a few moments. And that's that's the last elite right there. Good. We'll come back and get everything later. We gotta hit up that one cell door now. Alright, first thing is that there's that Inquisitor with all the rats. We are going to utilize our knife dance on that. So that's the first thing that we're doing. Good. That's six enemies right off the bat. Good. That's perfect. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Absolutely. Just, I'm very happy with how that turned out. That was awesome. And we know hit graveyard too, which is even better. Okay. We're going up to full health here. Oh, there's enemies here. I was not expecting that. Alright, good. Didn't even see him. Alright, good. Now we officially hit no hit graveyard. Alright, we're at full. We can go head on to caverns now. Alright, frame rate drops incoming, so I'll see if I can do something about that. I don't know what to do. Because it, it feels like it's getting worse and worse, and I, I can acknowledge that. Alright, should be able to keep my speed buff. Nah, I didn't. So either bleed and burning oil or bleed and poison. That's really what I'm looking for here. Or a knife dance or a knife or a throwing knife that gives me bleeding cause of poison. I'm looking for any of these things. That's what I'm looking for on the swift sword, by the way. Okay. 
Warte. That's scary. So I need to kill these guys as soon as possible. It's weird because I don't get frame rate drops when I'm in caverns, but like it just shows up like that on the video. There's just nothing I can do about it. I might just edit it in post or something. Yeah, slammers are a pain in the ass. They just are. I don't know how to how else to describe them. I think that can be my general strategy for the ground shakers, just to use my knife dance on them. I think that might be viable. Okay. Still have velocity going, so we're doing good in that regard. I have to be super careful when dealing with these guys. Barely got through it, but that was a good fight. That can't be good. That was perfect. That was perfect. I'm so proud of the way I dealt with that. I What I wanted to do with that demon was just lock him up in a tight corner. And then um, just get some hits off from there. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, I'm not 100% positive what I'm looking for here, but if I get it, then I can kind of show you guys a little better. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for something with inflammable oil, but either that or generates a toxic cloud with 80% of poison. It's one of the two. And a dual stat scroll, my favorite. Always nice to have. I need those to explode so I can have an easier time getting through this level. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That would be amazing if I didn't have that stupid affix. Oh, shit. No, no I can't. Fine. Um, actually... I have an idea. I have an idea. We're, we're abandoning the blood thing. And we're gonna try to see if I can get myself a firebrands. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going here. You don't have to worry about the Arbiter Bombs when um, you're picking up a um, when you're picking up a scroll because it cancels that out immediately. That's why I did what I did there. I don't know what I was trying to do there, but it worked out, so I'm not complaining. Alright, we have the crits on now. I mean, my carbine has damage to burning oil, too. Maybe I want to consider that. I don't know. Either way, I need my crits.
There we go. We got the crits now. There's a little window in which, like, you are starting to get your crits, but you don't have the full speed buff yet. Yeah, the 60% to bleed doesn't really matter at this point. If I can get 100% to burning oil, that's what I really what I want here. So if I get a fire brand, then I'm happy. But I have the flame turret, if anything. Come on, jump. Okay, I've only faced one elite so far. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah, we'll take that. More health is always appreciated. And you're dead. Oh, shit! I didn't realize that I had gotten to 60. I've just been kind of going and then just doing my thing, and then I didn't realize that I had gotten to 60. That's awesome. Level 12 weapon, here we come. Unless I die. Now, there could be a curse here, so I have to be super careful. Why are there two teleporters next to each other? That's kind of weird. Come on. I'm just, sometimes I just like to group enemies together just to make sure that they can uh, both get hit at the same time. Where are you? What the hell am I trying to do? Come on. Okay, there you go. Good. I'm gonna leave all the cell doors from here on in open. Damn it. Don't be annoying. Is there anything in here? We're gonna leave it. Just in case. Alright, now I have the confidence to be able to take those on headwards. That's that's why that's why that's why you leave enemies on the map. That is exactly why you do that. Okay, now we gotta be super careful. That last that that guy is the last elite. So we gotta assess it right here. Oh, I'm lucky. And yeah, okay. That's five enemies left. I can go fight that guy later, but now is not the right time to do that. I had an inkling of a feeling there would be a curse in here, so. All right, what are we doing? Okay, we're going down. It's a 10% chance here. But they appear more often than you might think. 10% doesn't seem like a lot, but it kind of is. Good. And three more. Good. Two. Alright, that's the end of the level. And last is a field experiment. Beautiful. Damn it. I hate it when they do that. Good. I'm not taking anything um okay so we've got a scroll here we have that elite over there in the other room so we have a we we're spending a little bit more time in here all right good 
And that's the treasure room, the four cell door. No enemies in here. Damn it. How do I want to do this? We're taking it. I love that knife dance, but I think this might be better for Giant and subsequently Hand of the King. That could have been bad. Alright, I just need a way to get I just need a way to get burn on the enemies now. Alright, he's dead. Have to be a little bit careful. And then we have that final elite. Okay, we have a group of enemies over here. Let's handle them first. Let's kill all the enemies in this level. Oh, that's why I didn't kill them, because they were kind of hidden. Beautiful. Okay. Next thing that we're doing is, well, we're going to kill that enemy. All right, good. And we have that group of enemies in the, to the bottom and to the right. Uh, but first, I think we should probably go kill the elite. Like, while we're here, we might as well. Alright, good. So that's all the elites in this level. And then, the final group of enemies. Towards the right-hand side. Good. And we're done. kind of like inquisitors like you're just trying to manipulate movement with arbiters except you just got to do it a little more intentionally yeah, demons are tough when they start doing that unless, if you don't have a shield you got to kind of maneuver a little bit uh, i think we're done with everything here no hit the level just like graveyard awesome i'm really happy with that let's sell that and we can go to high peak castle after this Keeping the same mutations, though. Uh, eh. Extra jump. Yeah, I like this one. Gives me kind of that instant burning, burning oil. Not that I don't have it, but... I feel like this is a little bit easier to get. Alright, I'm not going to have crits for giant. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. There we go. Very quick fight. I don't think we need to do the backup strat. I'll explain what the backup strat is in a minute. Let me just grab everything first. Uh, we are going to Hypey Castle. So backup strat is to, if I don't have enough power on this build and I need to get instant crits, 
Um, I can take Masochist, hit myself into spikes on purpose, and two things happen. One is that I only take 10% of my damage um, um, from spikes with Masochist, and the other thing is that I get a speed boost for 20 seconds. That's why I was thinking about it, but I don't need to do it in this fight because um, I'm getting a good amount of damage here. Like I said, I'm keeping these same exact mutations until the very last boss, so no need to do anything else here. In fact, I may, depending on how quick I kill the enemies in the Hand of the King, I may get um, Firebrands, Firebrands. That was tricky. That was very tricky. Because I was a little unsure on what to do. So I'll explain what the deal with the Firebrands is in a second. Dude. So you see how that flame turns blue for me? That's why I did that. Because my Swift Sword has something called Spreads Inflammable Oil. That for the plus the Firebrands gives me Burning Oil. Now I have 100% damage to target covered in Burning Oil on my Swift Sword. And I have a bunch of other stuff to give me Burning Oil. Or to give me Inflammable Oil. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. It just makes my process a little bit easier. Ah, oh, I didn't think I was going to get hit there. So we got to kind of restart. But I only killed a couple enemies before getting hit there. Now I hadn't gotten hit since uh, Moras. Alright, good. Light speed would be fun. A little bit different than uh, last rating R, which is... I'm getting kind of bored of that. I want to take something different, you know? That needs a little bit more power, though. Okay. Next order of business. Oh, he was in water. I didn't even notice. This is this is gonna take time and it's gonna take time away from my speed, which is really bad. Good. Alright, good. Awesome. I didn't need to go buy one then, but whatever. taking that i already can kind of tell the light speed wasn't if you can't kill demons this isn't gonna work normally i would take that but i think cross with cloud will do the job here all right well i lost my speed unfortunately Maybe I can try to go for shield in the last one. If it gets me burned, then I think I should do it. Good. I was just being a little bit too careful there. Almost kind of cost me. 
good. Okay. Good. Now we got the speed for 15 seconds. And start right away. Thank you, Spikes. Good. Again, it's just a little chaotic, but it's fun. I like this build a lot. Okay, we gotta go grab the other one. The other uh, dual stats scroll. And then we can, from there, we can just go into the blue. Ugh. What? Oh, I gotta go further than that. What the hell am I doing? Alright, good. Probably shouldn't have done that. It was a little risky, but it I guess it doesn't matter. Good. Don't be annoying, dude. Come on. Alright, we're almost at the 60. I guess he's dead. I don't see him. But that's 60. That's good. Alright, now is the red one. Now this is where we gotta kinda be careful with that uh, spawn chain. Good. That turned out very nicely. Alright, good. And we're done. We're taking it. For sure we're taking that. Times two on a phaser is really, really good. Okay. So that jumps from... Yeah, that's really, really good. I'm okay with the times two modifier. I'm pretty confident right now. Alright, let's do it. Just gotta be a little bit careful in the beginning. Alright, drop the turret, phaser, go. Good. 
Come on, come on. Thank God. I hate how close he is to the wall. Damn it, I knew it. I knew it, because he was so close to the wall. Like, that gave me so many problems. I, I knew that was going to happen. Because it was just like, he just stopped, kept staying close to that wall the whole time, and he wouldn't go to the middle. And I was just like, damn it, I'm going to roll into the spikes. And yeah, that's exactly what happened. It is what it is. Can't do anything about it. Still, it's This is still working out fine. Check on if we can get a different swift sword. Maybe if we can get one here. It's between that and the food. It's that or the skill shop because for some reason they have permanent food shop in here now. They took the one out of cavern and put it here. There's a librarian being weird. Right, good. Good. Alright, I like to turn on all the uh, teleporters first before moving on to the rest of the level. Damn it. Good. Beautiful. Just waiting on my phaser. That's really all I was trying to do here. Also, 34 is a really good stat total for 1.9. You're dead. Where's the librarian? Alright, fine. They're acting very weird right now. Alright. We don't have all the teleporters yet. Dude, I'm going to lose my speed. I don't want that to happen. Alright, there we go. What do we got? I can actually mess with this for a little bit. Legendary Hakudos, but I mean, why not, right? All right? Let's check out the top left corner of this. Good. Good, fantastic. Nice. All that for a one hit KO, I'm down. Alright, first shot. What are we getting? Alright, that's food. Let's take this right away. Second one. Bleeding.
1.4 times 1.6 is more than 2, right? Yeah. So we do take this. So uh, the burning is 1.4 times. The bleeding is 1.6 times. Burning oil is 2. So I was just trying to do some quick math in my head. It's because I lost my speed. That's why I got hit. I, I forgot that I had lost my speed. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Get out of here. We can kill this guy while we're here. Okay, no we can't. Just kidding. Awesome. There should be a bomber here. Damn it. But he is here. That librarian is too. Good. We got rid of those guys at least. Good. Alright, we're almost there. 34, 5, and 6. That was kind of scary, to be honest. Awesome. Come on. Good. And we're done. Wow, that was really, really quick. Beautiful. God damn, son. Alright. We are done with that. Now we just gotta re-roll the Hukuto's bow. Um we have the we have the stats to do this. So I'm thinking open wounds again. Um disengagement I think would be really good. And then, I don't know, fucking triage. Perfect. Actually, I should take a picture of this final build instead. All right. So we've got this collector fight. Um, I have an extra jump, I want to say. Let me just check one more time. Yeah. I have an extra jump, which will help against the stabby stab moves. I'm going to run out of speed by the time I get there, so. Unfortunately, that's just kind of what happens. All 
Alright, let's go. That's where the extra uh, jump is really useful. Alright, he's healing. That was unfortunate. It's fine. Alright, he'll be at three heals by the time we're done. Good. I meant to jump a little bit differently than I did. Stabby stab move is tough. Alright, well, we're almost there. Alright, there we go. Ugh, a little sloppy at the end, but that's fine. Um, the stab move... Uh, sometimes if you jump in the wrong spot, you're gonna get hit twice. If you get hit once, you're getting hit twice. That's the kind of basic problem with the move. Um, but... Overall, you know, um, the Hand of the King fight, I kind of acted a little stupid, but I didn't get hit in Hypey Castle, I didn't get hit in Caverns, I didn't get hit in Graveyard, didn't get hit against Tick, so that was four right there, I didn't get hit. Didn't get hit in Ancient Sewers, didn't get hit in, in uh, no, I was, I didn't go to Ancient Sewers, I got bodied in Morass. I didn't get hit in Prison Depths, um, got hit once in Dilapidating, I think I only got hit once in, I, I think the point is, if I played a little bit better against the bosses and I didn't completely like get bodied against Morass and Collector, this would have been one of the more efficient runs that I had. And I played extremely well, so I'm very, very happy with how this one turned out. This was one of the better Chaos and Chill runs that we had. Um, again, check out the podcast. It's going to be called Chaos and Chill Cells Cast. Um, first episode's going up sometime this week. I don't know when, but I'm really excited for it and I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my content. Leave a like and subscribe for more Dead Cells social commentary, guides, runs, and all, and the new podcast. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe out there.